Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Outdoorsman One video today. We're gonna be taking my grill off. We're gonna be painting the whole thing black, kind of a matte black, kind of to, to match the other uh, accessories that we have on here. Plus the grill, yeah, the grill, I want it to match the rack in the back as well, fender flares in the future. Once we get new bumpers and a couple other things, I want everything to kind of line up. So first we're gonna talk about some of the things that we're gonna need to do what we're about to do and I'm gonna show you uh, who I got the inspiration from on this. Apart from the tools that you're gonna need, which are explained in my other video, which I'll link in the description below on how to put a Raptor grill on your F-150. I've got another video specifically on that. I did it about a year ago. So go ahead and uh, check that video out after or before you continue watching with this video if you want to uh, know how to do that more in depth. But apart from those tools, the things that you're gonna need to do the following, pretty self-explanatory. We're just painting something, so uh, you can skip past this if you already could figure that out. But we've got a big thing of, uh, of primer and paint. It's a semi-gloss white. Since my finish on my truck is kind of that high gloss white, I kind of want the lettering to be the gloss as well. As well, I've got a matte black because everything else on the truck is kind of that matte black color. Uh, and you know, maybe along in the future, I might end up rhino lining it or or bed lining it, so it's kind of got that kind of a look to it. And then we've got a, a clear coat that we're going to put on top of it, so that when we wash it and things like that, it'll the paint job will last a little bit longer. Then I've got this is like two bucks at uh, Walmart just some some plastic so that we can put it on the ground so we're not going to paint the ground and then as well when it does come time to paint the Ford lettering so that I can use the other item which is just painters tape to outline the letters so that the white doesn't overreach and we get the the crisp lines that we're looking for be sure to use painters tape don't use any other kind of tape because you know other tape is just going to rip the the paint job that you just put on there rip it off so we don't want to do that so we've got that and then uh, I'm notorious for painting my hands and using my hands when I'm painting. You've probably seen that in videos before, so I've elected to kind of use some work gloves. Um, also, got kind of a damaged hand and I don't want to get any things on it. You know, it's, it's pretty well healed, but I still don't want to mess it up any more than it already is. And then I've just got some, some of these good old dude wipes. These are the best things ever for getting a little uh, dirty, for, for scrubbing your hand clean and whatnot. So, those are the main things that we're gonna need. I also did get a couple extra 10 millimeters at Walmart because they were really cheap and you know, 10 millimeters you lose them. So let's jump right in. I, I clear coat protected it I did the whole thing I brushed it down make sure you you wash the whole thing down as best you can because any of those imperfections are gonna stick or that are stuck on there they're gonna stick and they're gonna stay and they're gonna continue underneath your paint especially on here when you've got two layers of paint so best thing you can do is make sure to wash it real nice and we're gonna do a couple layers here so this might take a minute. Um, I'm gonna paint the back side, not super intense, but I am gonna paint it so that when you come through, you don't see the gray. So, here we go.
now we wait. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Hey guys, so one thing I wanted to say while this is still drying, I've got another about roughly 10 minutes before I'm gonna start on the white. Uh, I'm trying to do three layers of each color on it because there were some dings and there were some scratches that, I mean, I got this second hand off of Amazon and it was already used off of Amazon and it was dinged up in the boxing. As if you go back and you watch the, the unboxing, you'll kind of see that. So I'm trying to do three layers over the whole thing just to get a good clean coat over the whole uh, grill and to have it pretty even and spread out over the whole thing. So I'm really glad that I did end up getting a second one. Um, my other one's already out. This is the white, but I did end up getting two. Uh, so I would suggest if you're going to try and do a couple coats on it, I would suggest getting two, even if they are the 25% more, um, and just go kind of slow and, uh, just blanket the whole thing pretty evenly try to keep um, you come in from both angles because that honeycomb design on there is really annoying one thing I did notice is uh, that you're probably gonna want to stand it up kind of like I have it right now on the bottom side the nice thing is it does stand up on its own so you might want to stand it up and then come at it from the back you're not gonna have to if you do three coats from the top down and you're coming in from both angles and kind of all angles you're not going to really need to paint from the back but what i did notice is that it's a lot easier to paint from the back to get a full coverage on all of the f letters there are the ford lettering um, across there as well the back of the honeycomb because the way that the plastic is kind of seamed it's like this so it kind of the shadow doesn't get it so if you if you want to get everything really good i'd highly suggest you come at it from the back and uh you, you give it a go from the from the back so you can kind of penetrate both angles so I'm excited
hey guys thanks for watching the video i really appreciate it i hope you guys like it as much as i do i'm really excited there's going to be a couple touch-ups i'm going to have to do and i might want to go back in a little while and do another clear coat layer uh, but as of right now i like it a lot the white is a little bit off um, when the sun was up earlier the white looked almost the exact same but now that the sun's setting a little bit you can tell that it's kind of a different color not a big apologize not a big pet peeve of mine i like it and uh, we're going to touch up a couple of those things that didn't or that need to be touched up but besides that i'm super happy with the way it came out i really like the black instead of the gray and then obviously the white lettering just pops to me i love it so thanks guys for watching i'm out